Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. Welcome to Nourish My Soul. My name is Jeff. I'm the lead servant for LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. I'd like to invite you to join our church every Sunday, 9 a.m. Here's our fellowship schedule. We are serving our flock every Monday to Monday, so practically every day. So be part of our online service. Let's start with the reading of the word. Today is January 23, 2021. It's a beautiful Saturday. Happy weekend. Leviticus 26, 11, 13. I will place my residence among you. And I will not reject you. I will walk among you and be your God. And you will be my people. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt so that you would no longer be their slaves. I broke the bars of your yoke and enabled you to live in freedom. Galatians 5.1 For freedom, Christ set us free. Stand firm, then, and don't submit again to a yoke of slavery. Your name is free. Your name is free. Driving through Temecula, California last month, I spotted some longhorn cattle. Now, being a Pinoy, I've seen many share of cows, in fact, carabaos, both loads, both loads of them, but I have never seen any like this. The cattle were meandering or following a winding course with their heads dipped so low that one horn actually drug on the ground so they walk or as they walk. I asked one of the locals what was wrong with the cattle. Were they sick? Were they injured? No. He said their horns were so heavy, they were no longer able to hold their heads high as they walked. I knew right then that I had spent years with a posture like that. I so heavily carried the burden of names that pushed me down and held me back that I was no longer walking with my head held high either. Jesus didn't come to earth, live a perfect life, die a sacrificial death with nail-pierced hands, sword-pierced side, and thorn-pierced brow, and raised from the dead so we could remain burdened by the yoke of slavery. He didn't free us from our sin, from our past and from our pain so we could reattach the chains of our sin, our past, our pain, and all of those old names we keep holding around with us. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. How do we find freedom to walk with our heads held high? We've got to start letting go of the old names that have hunted us. Maybe it was the playground bullies that made fun of you and you took on the name worthless. Maybe it was a parent who abandoned you and you took on the name insecure. Maybe it was a terrible decision you made and you adopted the name not enough. Maybe your kids are making choices that are breaking your heart and you claim the name broken. I don't know what your what you what hurt you've encountered and what names you've taken on, but I'm absolutely confident that God doesn't want to leave you in that hurt. He wants to usher us into healing in our lives. 
Yes. He wants to usher us into healing in our lives. Because your name from now on is free. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us freedom. Free from sins. Free from the yoke of slavery. We will be forever grateful, Lord God, to you. For you are our emancipator, our deliverer. Thank you for the newfound freedom. We pray, Lord God, for COVID-19, those people who are suffering from this. We pray for healing. We pray for the entire world, for this pandemic to stop in Jesus' name. We remember Len Bermuda, who is uh, looking for a job. We're praying for her, Lord God, that uh, you find the perfect fit, Lord God, the job that uh, will provide for her. And uh, you will use her to be a blessing to her new workplace. We pray for the complete healing for Mami Letty of May Bondo. She's now in the hospital, Lord God, and uh, just want to knock on heaven's door and we remember her in our prayers, Lord. Heal her. In Jesus' name, Lord God, heal her. Lord, we want to give also an opportunity for our uh, for those who are watching us and listening to us. An opportunity to accept you as their personal Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask for your forgiveness. I am a sinner, but I believe that you died upon the cross for me. That you shed your precious blood for the forgiveness of my sins. I accept you now as my Savior, my Lord, my God, my friend. Come into my heart and set me free from my sin. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. God bless you. Happy Saturday. We'll see you tomorrow, Sunday, 9 a.m. Virtual or in person at Wiley Chapel, Los Angeles. Bye. God bless you.